This little exercise we're going to look at, we're looking at a little pass and turn with a little combination for you to then get a strike at goal. Okay? Now, most important is the finish, but at the same time, what we do in between it is just as important, okay? With our quality of our pass, our turn, okay, and working together. Now, we'll just walk through it to start with. All it's going to be, I'm just going to use my hands, okay? So it saves time. So it's going to be a pass, okay? As you receive it, Ewan, you're going to turn any turn you like, so any turn, so you just turn simple. Then you're going to pass into half, so if you walk, good, give it to him. And freeze, and freeze, good. Your start position will be here, okay? So we're going to look at as if it was a cross, okay? So the wide player's got it. I'm being marked by a defender. I'm just going to drop off the mannequin. Good, walk to me. And then you're passing to me, okay? I've put a cone here for you to stand by. And then the striker, all you're going to do is receive it. Good touch, take the mannequin on, okay? And hopefully put it into the small goal there. Yep, you follow your pass. So then Ewan, you'd pop yourself on there, hard. There, Mackenzie, if it goes in, grab the ball, go back to the start, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, when you're ready, off you go. Let's go. Make sure you don't go and they're not watching. Good, follow your pass. Good, follow your pass. And then once they've had the shot, the next ball can go. So turn and face, don't pass until they've... they've. Good. Good. Take him on, strike. Good, Jamie, well done. So Teddy, get yourself on the cone, ready? The setup is very simple. I had two sections, two stations, uh, five on each. Um, a little passing and receiving uh, to turn, to get the ball up to finally into the striker's position to just basically get a shot away at the small goal. Play. Good. Good. Take him on. Good. Well done. Good one. Good, like that, Mackenzie, good. Well done, take him on. Where are you going with your touches? That's why, Mackenzie, if you have a tighter touch, yeah, and not take your touch to the side, then you wouldn't have missed that, yeah? Your touch has got to go forward to where the goal is. As soon as you go there, what happens to the size of the goal? It gets smaller, and that's why you missed, yeah? If you take your touch and drive towards the goal, then it's obviously you're going to score. Don't worry about the ball, go to the back. Bit more composure in front of goal, you decide what you're going to do. It's an open goal, are we going to smash it or are we going to look to place it? The key factors of the drill, obviously, you start with is the quality of the pass to obviously get into the striker. Um, obviously, you don't want that to break down, otherwise it will become sloppy. Um, finally, obviously, as to how they receive to turn, uh, finally how they get into the striker, the quality of the pass, how that striker reacts with his movement to receive off the mannequin and then obviously allowing him to be able to set up with his first touch to get his shot away at goal.